A warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for this week's Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care to our clients in the same way we provide care to a loved one. This week, I wanted to revisit COPD with a focus on nutrition. Healthy eating is important for everyone, especially those with COPD. Poor eating can exacerbate the disease process, and bloating from overeating or unhealthy food choices puts pressure on the lungs, which makes it much more difficult to breathe. Just in time for Thanksgiving this week, I wanted to put together some ways to either avoid or reduce bloating and eliminate the need to wear your beloved Turkey Day stretchy pants. Our first tip is not to rush your Thanksgiving meal. Take time between courses and avoid eating if you're experiencing shortness of breath. Avoid foods like onions, cabbage, sauerkraut, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and beer. Try eating less fatty and fried foods. And lastly, make sure to drink fluids an hour before and an hour after your Thanksgiving Day dinner. This week, I've decided to include three recipes for those joining you while managing their COPD. Courtesy of Ina Garden, we have herb roasted turkey breast, which yields six servings and is complete in two hours and 40 minutes. Courtesy of Tyler Florence, we have roasted sweet potatoes with honey and cinnamon, which yields four servings and is complete within 45 minutes. And lastly, courtesy of Marcella Valladolid, we have roasted butternut squash salad with a tangerine rosemary vinaigrette that yields four servings and is done in about an hour. Each recipe can be found at the end of this video or by going to foodnetwork.com. I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving and remember to be grateful for the good in life. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Our first recipe is Ina Garden's Herb Roasted Turkey Breast. Ingredients you'll need are one whole bone-in turkey breast, about six and a half to seven pounds, one tablespoon of minced garlic, which is about three cloves, two teaspoons of dry mustard, one tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary leaves, one tablespoon of chopped fresh sage leaves, one teaspoon of chopped fresh thyme leaves, two teaspoons kosher salt, one teaspoon freshly ground black pepper, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and one cup of dry white wine. Once you have all your ingredients, you want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the turkey breast skin side up on a rack in a roasting pan. In a small bowl, combine the garlic, mustard, herbs, salt, pepper, olive oil, and lemon juice to make a paste. Loosen the skin from your turkey breast gently and smear half of the paste directly on the meat. Spread the remaining paste evenly on the skin. Pour the white wine in the bottom of the roasting pan and roast your turkey for an hour and 45 minutes to two hours or until the skin is golden brown and has an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're testing, you want to make sure that you test the thickest part of the turkey breast in a couple of places. If the skin on your turkey is over browning, cover the turkey breast loosely with aluminum foil. And when your turkey is done, cover it with foil and rest for 15 minutes at room temperature. From there, slice and serve with the juices from the bottom of the pan spooned over the turkey and enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner. For those of you who are a fan of sides at Thanksgiving, our second recipe is Tyler Florence's Roasted Sweet Potatoes with Honey and Cinnamon. For your ingredients, you want four sweet potatoes, peeled and cut into one inch cubes, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, plus more for drizzling potatoes once cooked, a quarter cup of honey, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and salt and freshly ground pepper to taste. Once you've gotten all of your ingredients together, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Lay your sweet potatoes out in a single layer on a roasting tray and drizzle the extra virgin olive oil, honey, cinnamon, salt and pepper over the potatoes. Roast for 25 to 30 minutes or until tender. Take sweet potatoes out of the oven and transfer to a serving platter. Drizzle with more extra virgin olive oil as desired and serve. Our last dish is Marcella Valladolid's roasted butternut squash with tangerine rosemary vinaigrette. 
For your ingredients, you need a one and a half pounds of butternut squash, peeled, seeded, and cut into one inch cubes, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, three teaspoons of roughly chopped fresh rosemary, salt and freshly ground pepper to taste, four tangerines, six cups of fresh spinach, loosely packed, and a quarter cup of dried cranberries. With your ingredients collected, you'll preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Toss the squash with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on a baking sheet and spread in an even layer. Season with two teaspoons of rosemary and salt and pepper. Roast your squash, stirring once halfway through until it's golden and tender, which is about 20 minutes. Remove it from the oven and cool for about 15 minutes. While your squash is roasting, peel three tangerines and slice them crosswise into half inch thick rounds, removing the seeds. Juice the remaining tangerine and whisk it with the remaining two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and remaining one teaspoon of rosemary. Season to taste with salt and pepper. Combine the warm squash, spinach, tangerine slices, and cranberries with the dressing and toss gently to coat. Divide it among salad plates and you've got yourself a quick Thanksgiving salad.